Hello everyone, my name is Carol and this is Winter Haven Wisdom. I am here with you today on Tuesday and it is such a gorgeous day where I am at. It's almost 80 degrees, just a nice warm sunshiny day, no humidity, it's just gorgeous out. <laughs> so I'm here with you today to do a daily tarot reading and now we have the sun in Gemini. We also have Jupiter moving into Gemini, Venus moving into Gemini, and on the 23rd, we have um, a full moon in Sagittarius, which is the sister sign to Gemini. So if you have Gemini energy or <clears throat> you might be starting a whole um, new 12 year cycle in your life. And many of us might be feeling that way. Right? The last 12 years could have been pretty rough. Um, but that's going to be changing now. <laughs> so you're off into a new, new cycle. I'm starting with Moonology today since we have this moon energy building. I have said my prayer called in my spirit guides and they'll be with us for the reading. So spirits, what do we need to know today? What does the collective need to know? What's coming towards them. Okay, bottom of the deck is what do you need to release? A waxing moon. So maybe we're still releasing some energy that isn't good for us. Um, holding on to something of the past, we might want to try and release it here in this energy. If we can, moons are always a good time to release energy. Any time is a good time to release energy, but when the environmental energies can support you in doing that it makes it a little easier for you so you might think about doing that now for yourself or spirits at least trying to call your attention to the need to do that in your life we have emotion is running high and this is super moon energy so maybe you're very emotional right now or people around you are maybe you're feeling an energy like that um, full moon energy is usually um, difficult um, for a lot of people to handle. Don't let pride get in your way. This is a full moon in Leo, okay? Don't let pride hold you back from taking any action that you want to in your life. If there's something you feel called to do, something you want to do, go ahead and do it. Don't let anything hold you back. Take time to breathe out. This is a disseminating moon. Right, and I want to say readings over the last couple of weeks, um, take time to breathe has come out. I think this is a message spirit wants to get out. Times are stressful right now throughout the world, the economy, the wars, the presidential election, any of uh, weather stresses, any uh, other number of things um, can be affecting us right now and raising our emotions. Um, so take time to breathe and de-stress and some breathing exercises can really help lower your blood pressure, lower your stress level, and send much needed oxygen throughout your, your body um, through that blood supply circulating. So give it a try the next time you're feeling stressed. Meditate and contemplate, and this is a new moon in Pisces. So you could have some Pisces energy in you or someone with Pisces attached to you. Um, so do some meditating and some contemplating. What do you need to do in your life? What are you considering? What direction are you going in? Those types of things. A new start is coming and this is with the new moon and we'll have the new moon towards the um, end of the month. Uh, it will be the new moon in Gemini, right? I think. Or it might be the new moon in Cancer. Um, so the next new moon, anyways, this new moon energy is here. And the last 
is it's it's time to take action. This is a new moon in Aries, so you may have some Aries energy in you. It's time to take action on your life. It's time to jump in there and take some action. And I wonder what that action is, and it will be different for everyone, right? And it, you don't have to have um, Aries energy to, to feel that kind of a calling or want to take action in your life, right? Um, Alrighty here. So spirit guides, what does the collective need to know today for our daily message? Ooh, it's warm. <laughs> it's a nice day. Okay, bottom of our deck is the hanged man. He's uh, meditating and contemplating, I think, down in this position, trying to get some clarity, get some insight, maybe a download from spirit, um, trying to come to some conclusions in their life. Okay, a quick look here, and we have one, two major arcana cards in today's reading so we're more processy driven here right now um, in the center of our spread we have the king of pentacles and the king of pen pentacles is a leader reliable dependable abundant connected to the earth very grounded giving nurturing kind um, a real nice energy I'm feeling off of someone here, a peaceful, kind kind of energy for someone. In our opening position, we have death and rebirth, a transformation somebody has gone through here. Next, we have the Eight of Swords, some overthinking, over-worrying, anxious type of energy. And then we have the knight of swords this is a fast moving knight that um, on their path they um, bring messages of truth and honesty and clarity so this type of energy may be maybe this is your energy on your path and the work you're doing maybe you're a little worried about something and you've been through a transformation here Into the middle row, we have the world, the end of a cycle here. So you're off into a new cycle, and we might expect to see this as we move from Taurus into Gemini, and then the switch of Jupiter from Taurus to Gemini, returning 12 years later from the last time it was here. So this can be a huge new cycle coming in for someone. So this world, this King of Pentacles energy, and the Seven of Wands. And the Seven of Wands is an energy of someone who is self-protective, but often very spiritually aligned on a path, moving quietly, doing their thing, not making a big fuss or big fanfare about it, just moving along on this path. Okay. 
In the bottom row, we have the Queen of Wands. And this is a magnetic, fiery, passionate leader, entrepreneur, um, spiritual energy here. I'm feeling strongly. Um, intuitive. Like she's like a guiding light. She's bright and loving and just a powerhouse of a person. And then nine of pentacles, maybe on this path here, someone is um, aspiring to get to 10 of pentacles, working hard, confident, single, amassing pentacles in her life, working towards it. And we have the page of swords here. This is an energy of someone seeking information um, on their path. It's a beginning energy. This could be somebody spying, uh, checking you out on social media, um, talking to your friends, asking about you, looking at your pictures. If you have a past relationship with somebody, looking through text messages, right? Just keeping an eye on you, checking you out, and I'm not feeling anything malicious here. Um, or it could just be you on your path, um, trying to, to learn more about your situation, maybe the work you're doing or some actions you're taking. And then the last energy we have is the page of cups. And this is a beginning, um, love connection, right? It's the text messages and the phone calls, the getting together in the early stages of the relationship. And this can even be strong self-love, inner child energy. And we have two pages out here. So this could be um, the inner child energy within you and a partner. So I'm drawn to this transformation, the end of a cycle, the queen of wands energy here. And then we have the Knight of Swords, the Seven of Wands, and the Page of Swords on this side. So somebody moving fast on a path spiritually, maybe seeking information, giving information, checking things out, watching things, that type of thing. And on our center row, we have that Eight of Swords, that overthinking, overworking, overworried energy into our King of Pentacles, who's maybe um, single, available, and confident in who they are. Okay. So... Let's uh, get into this and see what's going on. Take a minute to connect into the energy here. spirit guides can you please tell me about transformation they did not waste any time did they then I'll do that over please tell me about transformation spirit justice here. Um, somebody looking for things to be balanced and fair. Queen of Cups. King of Cups. 
I'd say that's some pretty balanced energy, right? And the world, the end of this cycle. Tell me about the Eight of Swords. Who's in this Eight of Swords energy spirit? The Three of Pentacles, this is somebody overthinking, um, getting together, maybe communicating, building something with someone. They might be overthinking it, over worried about it, fearful of it, worried about this path, this business, this thing they're doing. And we have the Fool here, somebody about ready to take a leap of faith in some way. And then the Ten of Wands, maybe when they take this leap of faith, take this action. They are going to put down a huge emotional burden in their life. Tell me about the Knight of Swords. Knight of Swords, we have Six of Pentacles, and that's about reciprocal energies in our life, things being balanced and fair, even flowing of energies. Anything else for the Knight of Swords? So somebody's looking for reciprocal energies. And... Right now, somebody's in Five of Pentacles, and this can be somebody who feels abandoned, left out, forgotten, left behind, out in the cold, or this can be somebody in some type of a lack mentality. Um, we have the Knight of Cups here, and this is about a knight that brings in a message of love and, and passion. And we have the Knight of Swords here, our analytical, dependable, reliable, um, smart um, human lie detector that will cut out anything that doesn't serve him. So he may be considering making a reciprocal love offer to someone. Tell me about the world. Oh. Also, the Ace of Cups is there with that King of Swords. I forgot to pick up one of the cards. So he's thinking about making a, you know, a significant reciprocal love offer. Tell me about the world, please. The world is the Emperor. So this is... You know, he is made up by all the other kings in their energy. This is a leader. This is a, a caretaker, a nurturer, dependable, reliable. Um, you know, it's Aries energy, and we have that Aries energy in the opening um, energies. It's time to take action. And then we have the Ace of Pentacles. Um there's an opportunity of some kind they have. And then the King of Wands. So now we have the King of Cups, King and Queen of Cups, the King and Queen of Wands out here. And they're in the Three of Wands. So this is about 
taking action, right? Getting on that ship, making that offer, making that move. Tell me about the King of Pentacles, please. And we have all of the energies of the um, King of Pentacles is the King of Pentacles. Just reaffirming that, that energy. And they have the Three of Cups. This is about getting together as friends. This could be communication of some kind coming in. Celebration, getting together and, and having a good time. We have the Hierophant, a spiritual energy here. And this is about commitments in our life, our integrity, our honor, the roles we play in them, the morality we have. And then the Five of Swords, someone who's frustrated with their situation. They're annoyed, overwhelmed, overthinking, overworking, argumentative right, really struggling with something in their life, trying to figure something out. Tell me about the Seven of Wands. The Seven of Wands is the Page of Wands. So this is a beginner. This is somebody excited about the path they're on and the work they're doing. And we have the Four of Cups, this underlying sadness that's plaguing someone. And um, while they're in this energy, they are manifesting and they don't realize it, I think. I don't think they understand how powerful emotions are. And they've got a death and a rebirth here. And some truth is going to come in. Some information, some knowledge you'll be getting about a situation. Tell me about the Queen of Wands. That's the Seven of Wands energy, and that's that self-protective spiritual energy in a spiritual bubble here, zooming across the atmosphere, doing their work, doing their thing um, in a non-fanfare way, right? They're just working quietly. What else about the Queen of Wands? Oh, she's got a broken heart. She's broken hearted. Oh, poor Queen of Wands. And she has hermit energy around her right now. And what else was there? And she has the Empress energy. Queen of Wands. Tell me about the Nine of Pentacles energy, please. The Wheel of Fortune. Have the Wheel of Fortune, the Six of Cups, Judgment, Two of Pentacles, somebody going back and forth, and Seven of Swords. And Seven of Swords is maybe somebody that snuck away from you in the past, that ran from you. That could have lied, cheated, stole, um, whatever it might have been, addictions, anything like that. And it could be somebody thinking about returning to you. Or it could be somebody spiritually aligned on their path doing their thing. So, 
who's ever in the nine of pentacles energy there's a lot going on there you know tell me about the page of swords Page of Swords is the devil energy. Who knew? So this Page of Swords is in the Hanged Man, and we have the Hanged Man on the bottom of the deck. Spirit is helping them with strength and courage. Six of Swords, they're moving away towards happier times, calmer shores, a nicer place in life. Whether this is a physical move or an emotional energy, um, we have the star healing energy, illumination, divine timing, a wish come true, and we have a tower energy here. Um, a surprise, an epiphany, a change in something, um, an upheaval of some kind in our life, and we will clarify that energy when we come around again. Tell me about the Page of Cups. So Tower Energy is of the moment. It's happening now. It just happened or it's about to happen. The Page of Cups is in the Eight of Swords, overthinking, over frustrated, anxious, worried, seven of cups. I have so many choices, so many opportunities. What do I do? And I'm really taking the time to think about these big decisions. I'm contemplating, trying to figure things out in my life. So tell me about the world energy with the king and queen of cups. This is the Eight of, of Pentacles. This is somebody hard at work, working on their pentacles, devoted and passionate about the work they're doing. The Eight of Swords, um, fast-moving communication coming in here from a Knight of Swords who comes in with the truth. And the Four of Wands, the eleven eleven card, the milestone, the, the union, the celebration of some kind here and stability right somebody can be working hard in a truthful and honest way to get to stability in their life and justice is coming in for this person tell me about the fool please Fool is looking for a victory, a triumph of some kind, success. Anything else about the fool? They're currently not giving to a situation, holding their energy back, being very careful with it. Tell me about the Ace of Cups. This is an energy of somebody walking away towards their happiness, towards the sun. And they're in magician energy. They're transmuting negative energy, turning it into positive energy, alchemizing energies around them, manifesting. Nine of Pentacles, a confident, single, available kind of person, working on herself, focused on her pentacles, her business, whatever she's growing. And Archangel Michael is saying, be patient and just stick with it. It takes time for some things. Tell me about this Ace of Pentacles.
the Ace of Pentacles that we have down here with the Emperor and the King of Wands is the Ten of Pentacles, the long-term commitment, success, the kids, the house, the home, the car, the pets, right, the yard, all that kind of thing, the American dream, all that we work for in life. Um, Seven of Pentacles, somebody manifesting this into their life. Queen of Pentacles energy is here. Somebody really connected to the earth, intuitive, um, giving, nurturing, kind, grounded, um, giving. And we have the Page of Cups energy here for our Emperor. Tell me about the Three of Cups, please. The Three of Cups is the Ten of Cups, and this is walking away towards our happiness, leaving the pain and grief and shame and blame and all those types of energies behind and moving on in life. And maybe somebody's moving towards this Queen of Wands. Tell me about the Ace of Swords, please. Ace of Swords is the Queen of Swords, right? She knows what she wants. She knows her worth. She knows her value. And she will not accept anything less than that in her life. So maybe some truth is coming into her or from her. We have the Five of Wands. Somebody strategizing, trying hard to get ahead, make something spark in their life, um, being creative. And it also can be everyday kind of struggles with people. And we have the Five of Cups energy. Somebody who has seen quite a bit of their life go down the drain and they're still carrying a little bit of disappointment energy. Okay, tell me about the tower, please. Tower is the Nine of Cups, Wish Fulfillment, The Lovers, A Choice in Love. The Sun, Illumination, Clarity, clarity Happiness, Joy, the Yes card. High Priestess here. Someone who watches and waits, has secrets, pays attention, reads energies, psychic, intuitive, all-knowing, quiet. Maybe Spirit is saying, you'll know when this is coming. <laughs> Two of Wands, this is somebody who has the map, has the plan, knows what they want, where they want to go, who they want to be with, what they want to do. Um, and they're just waiting for their ships to come in. They're taking action in their life on a path, some kind of creative energy here. And we have Page of Pentacles, a beginner in business, um, working on their pentacles, somebody about to take action. Okay, tell me about the hermit energy. not have enough cards left in the deck to answer that.
chariot, the hermit, moving forward in a balanced way. Okay. So I stopped shuffling and we have the page of swords here, our spying energy. So um, I think, you know, this is the energy we've been following for a few days now. We have this feminine energy. She's moving forward on a path, um, doing her work, doing her thing. And we have a masculine thinking about coming forward to them. They're just healing more. Um, getting clear about what they want in their life. This might even be some type of a deep soul or twin flame type of energy coming forward here. Committed on a path. We have the three aces here. The one ace we're missing is the ace of wands. The passion and the creativity that hasn't come out yet. Uh, we have the love. Yeah. Um, when we look at what hasn't come out in the deck. We have the. Somebody healing their heart. The ace of wands. Two of Cups, the Knight of Wands, and the Ten of Cups, this energy that's still coming for, forward towards you, um, and that's coming via a Knight of Pentacles, who's right now in the Nine of Swords energy. This is all hidden from you, may come out with the Moon, Nine of Wands, self-protection, and our spying energy. So maybe with this full moon energy coming up, you're going to have some kind of a change. We do have the Wheel of Fortune here, right? So let's go back and get you an outcome here. Spirit Guides, what's the takeaway for today's reading? What can the collective expect to happen here? Okay, bottom of the deck is the Seven of Swords, um, this um, spiritual alignment, this person on a path, um, whatever they're doing. Let's see what we have here for our outcome. We have the Ace of Cups, um, an offer in love coming forward. 
Um, five of Cups. Somebody in a little bit of regret or sadness here. Six of Cups. Nostalgic about the past. Doing some healing around it. Somebody answering the call in their life. They're on a spiritual journey. They're stepping into their purpose in life. Their true north energy. Five of Swords. Um, this is um, somebody up in their head, overthinking, frustrated, argumentative, um, confused, angry. And we have the Queen of Pentacles energy here. Six of Wands of Victory. High Priestess, Psychic and Intuitive. Sun, Happiness, Joy, Illumination, Clarity, the Yes card. Three of Pentacles, I think this is three, yeah. Um, getting together with friends, celebrating, communication coming in. The Lovers, a choice in love, a choice in business, a choice of some kind. Five of Pentacles, somebody holding their energy back, feeling left out, feeling forgotten, um, left out in the cold. A lack mentality in some way. Archangel Michael saying, be patient, stay balanced, let the energies play out. Three of Cups. Um, I, this is friendship, getting together, celebrating. The other was Three of Pentacles, and that's working together on something, building something together collaborating and compromising knight of cups a passionate knight coming in with love two of swords someone taking some time to think things out clearly some big decisions in their life page of one somebody excited about and passionate about the work they're doing the path they're on the empress energy is here building worlds Handling things, growing something, connected to earth. And she has the Ace of Pentacles here. So she has an opportunity coming into her. And that might be on this path or from this masculine that's thinking about taking some kind of action and moving towards her. So today we will do sacred forest and see what wants to come out here for our general reading what is the takeaway here what other energies are at play for the collective Bottom of the deck, when we stop shuffling, is Wizard of the Woods and focused. Stay focused on what is most important to you, what matters to you the most, what do you want in your life. If whatever career path you're on or plan you're working on, stay focused on that. If it's a love connection and bringing it together, stay focused on that. One thing at a time and keep crystal clear focus on it, okay? All right, we have Bluebird Fairy with gratitude. You know, ex express gratitude for each and everything in your life. Um, I think the more we express gratitude, the more things we have to be grateful for in our life. Mia, a wise woman of the grove in grace, being a forgiving person, being graceful, moving through life in that way, helping others to forgive. Okay. Dragonfly spirit with change is here. Change is evident here. Whatever's happening, a tower, a wheel of fortune, all this moving on, moving over, um, energy, releasing energy here. Um, big change is coming in, transformative change. Spirit guardian of winter, retreat. Someone is retreating, pulling their energy back, 
They're in cold energy right now. They're trying to figure things out. Their spirit with healing. Healing energy is going on right now. Someone is healing up the past, releasing energies, stepping into their authentic energy. Daffodil fairy with new beginnings. We have two worlds here, two new cycles beginning. Fire spirit with energy. Your energy is building in a situation. It's growing something. It's making something happen. It's very magnetic and it's drawing energy towards you. Rainbow waterfall with miracles. Miracles are coming in for you here. Anything that you've been hoping for, that you've been wishing for, praying, the unexpected, the unimaginable, it might be happening for you. And don't doubt that. Keep the faith. Wolf spirit and family. You're an important part of a family, whether this is your natural born into family, a friendship, a community group, where you volunteer, where you work. You're seen as an important part of a community. You're seen as a leader. You're seen as someone that many people rely upon. Water spirit manifesting dreams. You're out here. We've had the magician out, the high priestess, the hermit, right? You're all um, manifesting hard for what you want in your life, okay? So that's the reading I have for you today, everyone. Um, thank you for being here and supporting the channel. Um, we made it to 291 subscribers, and I'm also very, very grateful for each and every one of you that spends any time at all checking out these videos, watching, commenting, viewing, sharing, liking. I appreciate each and every one of you so much, and I'm blessed beyond belief to be sharing my journey with you and building the community together that we are, and I thank you. Sending love and light to everyone, and I will see you in the next reading. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.